coffee did not originate in China, but has found a very welcome home here. A new report from Shanghai Jiao Tong University says that Shanghai now has more coffee shops than any other city in the world, outranking those where it's been sipped for centuries. It's the white-collar workers who have contributed so much to the brewing business, as Chen Tong has discovered. It may look a little strange. Walk through the West Nanjing Road station on Metro Line 13, and you will find two coffee shops right across from one another and both from the same coffee company. Mana Coffee opened this shop in 2019 and wound up selling hundreds of cups a day. Business was so good, they opened the one opposite just last month. No waiting. And most of the consumers here, as you can tell, are white-color workers heading for offices nearby. I have one cup a day just to keep going. I have two cups a day. It helps me relieve the pressure of work. Manor is invading most of Shanghai's business districts. Take Shanghai Media Group building on one of the busiest streets in the city as an example. There are six Manor shops within 500 meters. The coffee brand now has 129 shops nationwide, most in first-tier cities and 70 percent of them near office buildings. The shops have no fancy decorations. No fancy desserts on sale, just coffee, fast coffee. Coffee is a functional drink for some people because Shanghai's working pace is speedy. White-collar workers want to buy a good cup of coffee quickly to give them energy. Well, coffee started out to be something for your leisure time. It's now part of the daily routine for white-collar workers in Shanghai. You have your coffee while walking to work, sitting in office, or chatting with your colleagues on break time. So why did Shanghai fall so in love with coffee? Shanghai itself is an immigrant city. It's only a matter of whether you're old Shanghainese or new Shanghainese. People from all over the place brought their habits to Shanghai and here created a mixture of everything. In recent years, many students who studied abroad have come back to Shanghai and brought their habits here. And of course, Shanghai is fast-paced. People think a cup of tea slows time down, but a coffee lets them work more efficiently. The university experts even have the feeling that Shanghai's coffee habit and its work habits are part and parcel of the same thing. They say that the more coffee shops a city has, more energy it has. Coffee what? Uh, Shanghai ranks first in the number of coffee shops worldwide, and that wasn't the result of a government policy, but just emerged from the market. We think it's related to Shanghai's personality. As the economic center of China, it's now on the global stage. All oh, this is leading to tougher coffee competition in the city. Global chain Starbucks now owns the most coffee shops worldwide, and Manor is far from the only smaller brand boiling up quickly here. Since the pandemic started last year, the number of coffee shops in Shanghai has not fallen, but rather has risen by 10 percent. We are up to 8,200 now. Chen Tong, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.